Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're back again with uh, doing an eye look and we're still going to be working with this palette. Uh, I haven't given up on it yet. I, I can't. I use it every day right now. It's, a, it's an issue. I'm loving it. But I figure let's try doing a series and try to do a look for each house. I don't know if this is going to go well. Uh, I feel like, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like Ravenclaw might be the one I'm going to really struggle with, but let's just start out with doing um, Gryffindor. Uh, the convenience of this is this palette has a particular, like each house has their own color. So here's Gryffindor, so we're definitely going to be using that. And I'm kind of leaning towards wanting to use some Golden Snitch, but we'll see. I don't know. I'm going in once again, as I always do, blind. I'm going in with no plan. Um, other than I already knew I was going to do Gryffindor because how could you not use the one color that's named after the one house? So yeah, you know, you have to, but that's right. Anyways, uh, just going in, you know, any old brush as I do. It might be a little dirty. It might not. Now, my natural decision in this is to always go with this darker shade in the corner, outer corner. And I don't know why. I kind of feel like let's try try to make me do something different. Like I need to force myself out of my comfort zone. So I'm going to go in the middle of the eye. Not sure why. Just to do the complete opposite of what I would I really want to do. And see if anything kind of cool happens. Like this, this could be an utter mess. And if that's the case, I'll still post it. Um, and you guys can see the, uh, the horrific choices that I decided to make and the outcome of that. But <laughs> let's hope that's not the case. Let's hope somehow this manages to find its way to be something decent. Um, that's my, that's my end goal, obviously, but you never know. I'm going to do my signature, wipe your, wipe your brush off on your pants. Don't worry, they're never good pants. It's always like sweatpants, that's all. Um, all right, I'm just gonna put some golden snitch on that outer corner. That's not bad. This could have been much worse so far. Um, I didn't, I was like, I don't, I, I don't know. I had, I pictured the red there and the gold there and I was like, oh, that could work, but let's not do that. Cause I feel like that could work too easily. So this is, this is what we're doing now. Cause we had to go with no plan and, uh, that's not so bad, honestly. And then. Bring some more of that red back in because I always overdo it with one color in particular. And we're going to need like a little over, overcasting with that color. With I'm going to do the red up top a little bit more. And just blend it out a little bit. That might be a bit much having red go all the way up to your eyebrow, but yeah. It looks crazy right now, actually. <laughs> it looks really crazy. Uh, it was doing well, and then I did something, and it some, something else happened. Now it's just crazy looking, but maybe we can tie this together at some point. It'll hopefully work. Um, for the inner corner, I'm not, I, I'm not doing it a particular order. I'm literally just doing what I feel like doing at this time. Inner corner is usually the last thing. It's not today, apparently. But I'm doing uh, floating candles. It's just a very light golden, kind of yellowish, um, kind of like a highlight color. All right. This is uh, not feeling like an everyday look, but that's fine. It doesn't need to be. We never, no one said that it had to be, so it's not gonna. <laughs> um. Let's calm this top part down a little bit with just a neutral tone. I'm doing uh, the Marauder's Map again. And just to kind of calm 
calm that red down. Like, the red's still going to shine through because it's red. But just to calm it down a little bit. <laughs> um, all right. And let's do something on the bottom lash. Let's take the same colors, but we're going to do red on the opposite side of where we put the red on top. It's going to go in the outer corner. I don't know if this is a good choice again, but I want to try something different than what I typically do. And this isn't like, honestly, this is really not stepping outside of my, my boundaries that much, but it is a little. We're taking baby steps here. And then the gold more on the inner-ish area. And kind of build that gold up a little bit. Okay. I might bit of uh, I might have gone a little crazy with the gold, so let's add more red back in. All right, this look is very I'm not used to this at all. I'm gonna kind of blend the red in that highlight color a little bit. I don't think that did anything. <laughs> oh well. We tried. Um I feel like we're slightly losing the Gryffindor red to this gold. I went a little heavy on the gold. That's a little bit better. All right. This feels weird, but it might come together once you put like, well, it might help if I have the other eye done. So we'll, we'll get there. But I'm hoping once you put like, you know, eyeliner on and mascara, this might come together. Maybe. I don't know, you guys are gonna have to let me know how what you think. Or honestly what I could have done differently if I should have just stuck with my original plan of just your basic like red, dark, dark shade on the inner corner, lighter. I mean outer corner and then lighter on the inner. I don't know, you guys let me know if this was not the greatest choice, but we'll see. I might try adding a liquid eyeliner, which I truly hate doing. But I'll try for you guys. <laughs> and uh, we'll come back. Let me finish this and let's just see how it's looking once this is finished. Hold on. All right, guys, here we are with the finished look. Um, so I did my typical just eyeliner just halfway down and normal mascara that I always put on. Uh, I kind of added a little bit more red eyeshadow where the red is, just to kind of deepen it out a little bit more. Honestly, probably could, could use even more than what I have. But I feel like in the end, it kind of came together. It's not terrible. It's, it's pretty good. It's a little different for me. Um, I've been wanting to use Golden Snitch color for a while. Oh, yeah, I did do liquid eyeliner. And it was okay. It was a little harsh looking for me, though. So I added some black eyeshadow on top just to kind of, like, you know, blur out the harshness of the line. I don't, I don't know why. I don't always like that. Only sometimes, but not every time. Um, and I just threw on Sophia Nygaard's lipstick from way back when, when she released. Uh, this one's Mrs. Norris. Um ignore if it's a little red around my mouth i did try a few different lipsticks and like i tried this uh i tried the bikini bottom version of hers and it was lighter another nude but lighter and i threw in holica holica red just in the middle to kind of go with the red eye theme but this red is a little on the pinky side not quite as deep as i wanted so I had to wipe that off and throw a different one on. So we settled on this one. And I like it. You know, nude lip with more colorful eyes always works. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I personally kind of like it. It's, uh, I, I definitely had a lot of doubts throughout the process. Um, sorry, I know it was really fast. I am more inclined to want to do really fast, quick looks. Just because in the morning... I always want to put a little something, a little makeup on before I go to work, but I go to work super early in the morning and I only have like 45 minutes to fully get ready, like get out of bed and be walking out the door. So yeah, I've kind of adapted myself to be 
really fast with my looks. <laughs> but yeah, let me know uh, what you guys think and if you like it. Uh, and uh, if you have any good ideas for the other houses or even just any other possible ideas for the channel in general, things to do. Uh, I have some crafting stuff I'm going to be putting up soon and uh, nails that I'll be filming probably today. So if I do uh, a voice recording with uh, any video of my face, you'll probably see me with this, this makeup look. But yeah. Uh, Thanks for watching, um, and if you want to, please please subscribe, comment all the all the things, and yeah, like like the video if you can. That'd be great. Uh, see you next time, guys. Thanks.